Hey guys, me like big boom here and welcome to unturned 3.9. This is a huge update. It redid the whole game's UI. I know tons of you guys, a stupid amount of you guys have been commenting that your guys' game has been stuck at unturned 3.8.8. Um it wasn't stuck, it was just reverted back into unturned 3.8 because Nelson uh, didn't like the way that the UI was mismatched, so he reverted it back to 3.8.8. But anyway, Everyone should have 3.9 by now, so we all essentially have this fancy UI, so uh, we won't have any of those comments anymore, which is nice. But um, in terms of this new UI, I'm just going to walk you through it. Um, here's We're obviously in the main menu, and we have this new scene that we saw uh, temporarily in Unturned 3.8.9.5. God, it's such a long name. But uh, when you press the play button, it goes up to the front door, and uh, it's kind of hard to remember what each one of these buttons does because it, uh, it's been replaced with icons, and I haven't quite gotten used to what all these are. But uh, in your character customization tab, it zooms up on your character, and then we click on the, um, on the change your character guy which is here, no, here, no, here, here. Oh, I don't think you can rotate them. Oh, no, it's right there. The slider's been moved. It's still lots of getting used to, but, yeah, you can slide them around right there. Settings goes over to this, like, gun table thing, although the settings is kind of in the way of that table, but anyway, and that's the settings one, and then the workshop one is over by this, like, car workshop, um, and each one of these has been separated into their own little tabs, uh, just like it was before, I'm pretty sure but they've all been replaced with icons now. Additionally, in settings, we now have in the little settings or the options tab, we now have a little volume slider right there. And then also some of the names for these uh, graphics changes has been uh, a bit more detailed. So like it now tells us for foliage density and shadow resolution and stuff like that, whereas before it just said water and shadows and stuff like that. So it kind of gives you a better idea as to what's being changed. And then everything else is pretty much in the game. So we'll head on into PEI and see what's up. All right, so in the game, our little bars down in the bottom left corner for your vitals um, is still in the bottom left corner. We had temporarily an unturned 3.8.8, uh, no, 3.8.9. Uh, the bars were down at the bottom. People didn't like that, so it's been moved back into the bottom corner, and that sounds like where it's going to stay. Nice and simple down there. When we press tab, we can see that Nelson is definitely focusing on that aspect of keeping the UI as big as possible when it comes into the information section and then as small as possible in the game itself. Now in the inventory itself we now have icons up here. I think that's how we had it before but the major difference in this update is that the actual space that this occupies is a lot larger. Before it was kind of a, uh, a small chunk that only really took up the middle of the screen but this time you're able to see pretty much everything in your inventory in just one screen. I think immediately, because there's so much open space over on the right, I think it'd be kind of nice to divide this into two columns for, um, you know, like hands, Alice Pack, and then this military vest and military top would be over on the right side. I think that'd be one good way of um, making everything feel more compact rather than all this empty space. That's one of the immediate things I notice on this. Also, same as in the previous update, uh, the purposes of the left and right mouse buttons have been swapped, so you now left click to move items and right click to open up this little UI to choose whether or not you want to equip it or drop it. Um, as I was creating this inventory, I found it extremely hard to move items because I was so used to just right clicking items to move them. That's definitely something to get used to, but I think it'd be kind of nice to at least have the option to swap those for the veteran unturned players, I guess. But in most games I think that you play, you're pretty much used to left clicking an item to pick it up. I don't know, unturns kind of stain my mind and now I'm right clicking items to move them. So it is a bit friendlier for new players, it's kind of more common sense now. The crafting tab is pretty much exactly the same. I don't have any materials to uh, show you the crafting recipe, but the only change is that the plus and equals buttons have been uh, replaced with icons rather than text, so they look a lot better. Um, and other than that, that's pretty much exactly the same. It just fills up the whole screen now. But the big thing is in the skills category. You can now upgrade the skills of all three categories now. Nelson didn't really like the concept of restricting players. It kind of unbalanced the game, and, and in my opinion, I kind of agree with him. I never really used support or defense. I really only used offense, and apparently like 90% of the people who voted on the straw poll uh, also only did offense. But uh, now we're just getting kind of the best of both worlds. You can upgrade in all three different categories now. 
and I'm just gonna do that real quick all right I now have every single skill and I am just a tank right now I'm sure I could probably reload weapons really quickly like that I can run really fast my stamina goes down really slow alongside my hunger and thirst goes down really slow I don't take that much damage I'm a tank right now and in all honesty it kind of scares me that players are allowed to do that so I think at least one sort of balancing change to this is to allow a certain amount of allocated points that you can put into sections and that way people can choose whether or not they want to have a few in the defense category and a few in support and a few in this um, it's not like you're limiting them to one category you can allow them to distribute their points across three of the different categories so I think maybe you could allow them to only use like 50 of these little dashes and they can choose to distribute those however they want so that way you don't have people running around with every single skill on I think that'd be kind of a bit crazy then again it it does take a lot to get the experience and required to uh, do something like that but anyway that's my suggestion with that and then over on the information tab everything's the same it's just a lot more spread out uh, it does feel awfully simple I don't know I mean because it's got so much open space on it it just looks funny when it fills up so much of the screen so I don't know what can be added here I think it'd be weird if you made it smaller because it'd be the one tab that's different than all the others, but I don't know. Maybe just making the map bigger, in all honesty, allowing you to um, view, essentially this would cover up this whole section here, and then the players would be over on the right. I think that'd be one kind of suggestion. Just make it bigger, and should be pretty good. Also, in terms of placing down barricades, it now tells you which direction is forward by having like a little arrow on it. I think this is extremely useful, um, especially when putting down garages. Uh, the direction that you put the garage down matters because when you put the gate on it, sometimes if you put it on incorrectly, the gate will open outwards. So there'll just be a floating gate there. But now that you have an arrow, you're able to easily tell which direction is forward. Uh, for now, there's a bit of a glitch with the spotlight. So keep that in mind. The arrow is facing in the wrong direction like that. But I'm sure that'll be fixed soon. But anyway, this arrow will help pretty much all of these different issues. So that's pretty nice. Additionally, for those who missed the last update video, uh, you can now right click on an item in the hands category and press any number that is not one and two as those are reserved by your primary and secondary weapon slots down there. And it will set that number for that specific item. So that way when you're out in the world, you can just press three and you'll equip that grenade nice and easily. I can also drag my, see, I haven't gotten used to that swap of the UI, but um, you can now like drag, let's say your med kit up in the hand slot up here, right click it and then give it four. And then let's say we'll do the fuel can up there, give that five, and then we'll bring the splint up there and give that six. And now when we go through our numbers, we have one for the timber wolf, two for the combat knife, three for the grenade, four for the med kit, five for the fuel can, and six for the splint. And if you get more efficient with how you put down your items, you can put even more than that if you'd like. But anyway, being able to program those hotkeys is, is extremely nice. But anyway, that pretty much covers everything in Unturned 3.9. Nelson is asking for your guys' suggestions with this new UI, as it is a pretty big change. So if you have any suggestions, make sure to post those comments down below in a constructive criticism manner. Also, there were quite a few minor fixes in today's update. If you guys would like to check those out, I will put the full update post in the description down below. But that is all I have for now for the Unturned 3.9 update. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to rate, comment, subscribe, and do all that gibberish because me like big boom is out.